The Toronto Raptors have been on a tear. Um, and this segment is called Are You a Believer? Where we basically pick a team, um, for, you know, a random team every week. And we talk about if we're a believer in them, um, number one, to make the playoffs. And number two, their potential in the playoffs. Um, and kind of, you know, we talked about the Raptors before. Um, and I told you back then I wasn't a believer. Um, mm. And walk back on that. And since then, and since then, the Raptors have continued to just kill it. They're fourteen and one at home, but they're thirteen and nine on the road. They're five and two in the division, and they're six and four in the com. I'm sorry, they're sixteen and four in the conference, um, which means that they are eleven and six versus the other conference. So I'm personally going to say I'm still not buying in on the Raptors. I'm, I'm not a believer. I'm not a believer in the Raptors. Um, I'm actually really not a believer at all. Uh, I th- I think that this is the yes Demar Derozan has gotten better way better um, yes Demar Derozan is evolving his game and becoming the player that I called him um, you know that I thought he had the potential to be discount which is Kobe. why I called him discount Kobe and it wasn't He's discount Kobe. and even when I said it back then I didn't mean it as a disrespect it just like he reminds me of Kobe just discount not Kobe. on the level of a Kobe he's a discount Kobe but I think that but I but but I don't think that that's disrespectful to say I think that. If you can be a discount Kobe Bryant, he's your prototypical you're a vic- shooting guard. Demar Derozan is your I don't necessarily. I'm guard. not gonna put him in prototypical. Your prototypical no, shooting no, guard. No, yes, because he, he has a. He know because he has a. Um, Demar Derozan. Demar Derozan has a swag. Demar Derozan. The reason why I, I call Demar Derozan discount Kobe and not like a team anchor because Demar Derozan has a. Uh, has a has a subtle swag like Kobe. Like Kobe's not like Steph T-Mac Curry. Didn't have a subtle swag. I feel like T T Mac no, was a lot man. more animated. T Mac was a lot. I feel like T Mac was a lot more animated. Kobe was a lot more subdued. Kobe was a lot more exciting but subdued. T Mac was animated. To me, I like T Mac when he. Like I said, I'm I'm not I'm not I don't dislike T Mac. I like T Mac. T Mac was great. He was fun to watch. I enjoy watching him. He was emotional. Maybe he Kobe did, what Kobe is. No, he wasn't. I'm not. I'm not about to talk to you about that. But with Demar, I see that like like quiet, like assassin type of demeanor. I just want him to get better, and now he's getting better. But my thing with the you know with this Raptors team, and the same reason why I said that I'm not picking them is that because Demar Derozan is the guy for them. Last year, he averaged 22 points a game in the playoffs. I think he's gonna have to average 30 a game in the playoffs in order for them to beat the Cavs, the Celtics. Or the Wizards, damn near even the Bucks. So I don't. I'm not picking them. Wow. I'm not. The Raptors are my conference finals pick. I don't think Boston will make the conference finals. Um, and and not nah, the Raptors look really good, like really really good. Like if the Raptors fucked around and made the finals, I would be extremely surprised, but I wouldn't be like it, like dumb surprised. That actually would be a, a really entertaining. Finals. I don't. I wouldn't like, bro. The, the Mar- Warriors would blow them out though. The Warriors oh, would yeah, sweep yeah, them yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, the Warriors yeah, sweeping yeah, the Raptors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Demar, like. We always knew DeMar could score. We always knew it. But he's been expanding his range. He actually shoots threes now. Like, again, I never thought that the man couldn't shoot threes. I just thought he should shoot more. Like, he shoots three threes a game now. I think last year he took two. So that's one more three a game, and he's shooting um, 36% from three. And also, he's passing way better. I remember a couple, uh, couple like, game ago, I forgot what they were playing, but he passed out a double team, and I was like, what the fuck? I've never seen DeMar make a pass like that. Mm-hmm. Like, DeMar is definitely evolving his game. And DeMar, quiet as it's kept, might end up being a top five MVP candidate if they keep this up. He's playing really fucking good. DeMar is playing really good. And people say, well, why isn't Lowry scoring as much? Because he doesn't have to. Like, they have a really deep team. Like, they legit go 12 deep. Like, they have a lot of guys they can throw out. CJ Mouse is huge. He adds some shooting. Uh, Deleon Wright has been playing really fucking good. He's throwing his name into um, the best backup PG in the league conversations. Okay. He's one of them. If we like talking about top five, he's definitely one of them. Um, OG and Nobly gives you another defender. And Valanciunas, now again, it could have been because he played against Thon Maker. That could have been the fucking reason why. Yeah, Thon He had a I'm really sorry. good game. I apologize for my Thon Maker take, but go ahead. But I'm sorry. Abused. I was wrong. I'm sorry. He, in the third quarter, he abused Thon Maker. And it looks like he's waking up. And also, Jacob Dupertle, he's good. Like, he's a nice backup. I think eventually he's going to take over that spot from um, Jonas. But mm-hmm. he's a nice backup center in the half. Like they have a deep team. Norman Powell has regressed a little bit, but I still like him. Um, Pacquiao Siakam, like they have a deep team. Uh, Lucas Herring goes even coming off the bench as a seven footer. He averages a block in eleven minutes. He averages a block and he plays eleven minutes. Mm-hmm. Like they have a really really deep team, bro. Like I believe in the Raptors. Like I I, I think the Raptors of the past were too much a two man show. 
like they were too much of a two man show and they wanted yeah, balance yeah but units. now that's but still think that they need that like wait but wait but Demar wait. gonna have to average thirty and Laurie gonna have to average twenty a game in the playoffs that, I don't know if they gonna get that I don't that. think Demar has to average thirty because of how deep their team is I think that Demar can go out there and give you twenty eight a night in the playoffs and you'll be fine I think Lowry will step his um average up a little bit and they have Serge who's is Serge Serge is like a decent third guy like he's a decent third guy the. The um, Thunder did well with third, with Serge as the third. They damn near won a ring with Serge as the third guy. Like, Serge is a decent third guy. Like, I like this team. They're my conference finals pick. And if they made the finals, if they beat Cleveland in seven for, for some weird reason, I wouldn't be too shocked. I told you LeBron ain't never making the finals again. I wouldn't be too shocked. But I told you LeBron ain't never it's making not the gonna, finals again. But this East... It's this not gonna East be is going to be tough for LeBron tough, to go very through. Tough, very tough. Okay, like, it's look. Not be- if LeBron can somehow make it through this East and beat the Warriors, if y'all want to call him the greatest player of all time, I might not be mad at you. I wouldn't but be mad. But only at if you. that happens. Okay. Only if that happens. If he if he literally makes the storms through this East like he did last year and beats the Warriors. I, I, don't, I don't think either. If he makes it to the finals and loses to the Warriors again, think, this is more think, of the same. I don't think either team is going to storm through their conferences this year. I think both, I told you, I think we're going to see some resistance in this playoffs. Like the Cavs are going to fuck around and have a six, seven game series and the Warriors are going to fuck around and have a six game series. Like I don't, but regardless, I like this Raptors team again. They are my conference finals pick. I think they are definitively the second best team in the East and I would not be shocked if they made the finals. Now they, if they did, they would get washed. They would get washed, like washed. But this is the best Toronto Raptors team ever, I think. This is a really good team. And DeMar is going to end up being the best player in Raptors history. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. I agree. I'm not like, mad at that. Like, DeMar is 28. I think he's yet to play his best basketball. Yeah. I think the, uh, I think he's yet to play his best. I don't I don't I don't think you play your best basketball in like 25, 26. I think you play your I think that's maybe like your athletic peak, but I think you play your best basketball when you're about 28 to 31. 